Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So on today's video we are doing another charity shop hunt. So right now I am just in the Dogs Trust and I'm having a look at the DVD shelf and at the bottom we've got a load of games. First one that I sort of see is this Grease game for the Wii. Um, it's not something that I've ever seen before. I've never heard of it. But I do keep hold of it for a while. Um, but I don't end up picking it up. Um, I think they've got it up for sort of like two or three pounds. And then I'm just having a, a quick sort of flip through the DVDs themselves as well. And one thing that does catch my eye is Resident Evil. So I think it's the final chapter. So I think it's the last one in the series. Uh, we've got this. This is a PC game. Uh, I can't actually remember off the top of my head what this was. I can't. I've got the camera aimed down a bit too low on this one, unfortunately. There's Age of um, Mythology or something like that. Um, it looked like a Microsoft Studios game. And then, just as I'm about to sort of get up and sort of walk away. I then noticed that they've got a couple of games sort of sitting just under this sort of this bit of furniture. I think it's a sideboard or something like that. And they're all sort of Xbox games, apart from the top one. <laughs> Actually, there's a no. There was a couple of uh, Sims games there, but yeah, <sighs> didn't realise that this uh, the bit off my hoodie was hanging down. Um, but all the games that were there, sort of uh, all ones that we already had in the collection, so I did leave them. I've actually got, I think I've got a couple of copies of Rage now. Um, I actually got another copy in a collection that I was given. Um, that video is going to be sort of coming up sort of soon. I'm not going to give too much away on that. And we've got the Gears of War 3, which I think I got in one of my first CEX hunts. And then Red Faction was another one that I've got as well, quite recently. And then, the, what actually happened here was they were sort of, sort, as I was sort of checking out, they were sorting out some games uh, or sorting out sort of a, a load of DVDs at the back um, and they actually said that I could sort of come back and have a look so yeah I'm actually sort of coming back and what I'm showing just showing the guy there that DVD because that was actually a I think it was Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull and it was actually a pirated copy so I was just sort of showing him that it was in there but um yeah, so obviously it's the first time I've ever sort of been invited to sort of have a look sort of round the back. And as you saw there, I did sort of pull up sort of a, a couple of Wii games, um, but nothing sort of special. I mean, that's about it for the games. I then start sort of having a quick look through the, the DVDs. So next up, we are in the British Heart Foundation, I think this is. So straight to the back of the store where we've got sort of a single shelf with games on. We've got a couple of PlayStation games, normal sort of UMDs, and mostly PC games actually in this time round. <coughs> And then I decide, actually, 
sort of towards the end of the day that I was out, I decided to pop into cash converters and have a look. So I think, was it the last video that we did? I popped into cash converters and I got uh, got that PS2 game, Hurdy Gurdy. So I thought I'd pop in again, just have a look. Um, I'll be honest, don't really see anything sort of the, sort of jumping out on me to sort of pick up with regards to sort of games. So we've got Call of Duty, I think that's Black Ops 3 on the PS4. And then what I do is I then actually go and have a look in the cabinets behind. And there's absolutely loads of stuff in here, but we just didn't have the money for sort of majority of it. So you see there, there's got uh, Wii U, uh, 2DS, 3DS, uh, some Mega Drive games there as well. So they have got that gaming watch there as well, which I was really interested in. And I am going to pick one up. Uh, because I have noticed that the prices are starting to climb on them. <clears throat> and then what we do is just to finish off, I sort of end up going past the dog trust on the way home. So I decide to sort of swing back in again and just have a look. And it seems like they have done sort of a, a big restock. And we've got uh, these are a load of the, these are actually the Wii games that I saw when I was out the back, but didn't pick them up because uh, I don't think they <clears throat> I don't think they had prices on them at the time, and I sort of didn't really want to ask for some reason. But yeah, so I do decide to sort of grab those free, and what we'll do is we'll have a look at them once we get back to the games room. Okay, so we are back from the charity shops and it was a little bit disappointing today, not that many finds, not in comparison to what we've been seeing normally, but still we did manage to get some finds, so let's have a look at what we managed to get. So the first game that we found was Sid Meier's Pirates on the Nintendo Wii. All of the games today are going to be on the Wii um, and this was one that I had actually seen previously but uh, decided not to pick it up at the time. And all, well, all three of these games I'd seen previously. I think I saw them on last, last week when I went in. And they were still there this week when I went in, so I did decide to pick them up this time. Uh, so for Sid Meier's Pirates, we paid two pounds, um, which actually sort of varies across the board, actually. So because there's only a couple, I'm gonna do all the, sort of all the prices together. So we paid two pounds, uh, CEX price for this is £3, and eBay prices, the average price is about £7, so a bit all over the shot on that one. Then, next up, we've got Carnival Fun Fair Games, so it's another box complete Wii game, and for this, we paid £2 again. Um, sold, sort of, we're seeing it sort of uh, on eBay for around sort of £3. Um, and CEX, they're charging £6 for this one. So, yeah, quite a bit saved on that one compared to CEX. And then the final one that we got was a FIFA 09 All Play. Um, so it's not one that I've actually seen before, but uh, it looks like basically you're playing FIFA with the Miis. So, yeah, looks quite interesting. Uh, so £2 for this one again. Um, obviously, all of them come from the same charity shop, so they all price their games sort of very much the same. Um, and sold comps for this, so CEX uh, are charging 50p for this, so a lot cheaper than what I paid. Um, but eBay are charging £3 for this, so it's quite a big difference sort of in this one today. But uh, yeah, still quite really happy to sort of get that and add that to the collection. So total spend today was £6. Um, CEX cost for sort of all three games was £9.50. And eBay's price was £13 on average. 
So yeah, regardless of the way that we look at it, we still saved a bit of money on the games and we got to add some free really good titles to the collection. So that is going to be the end of today's video. It is very sort of short and sweet today. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Uh, also, you can follow me on social media. Links to my social media will be down in the description below. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, bye.